Ben, congrats. Just your second main draw of a Grand Slam and you're through to the round of 16. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels great. Um, I said on the court that it was kind of a pinch me moment, but um, <sighs> unreal experience out there on the court today uh, with that, that Aussie crowd. Um, it was a lot of fun to be out there and I'm happy to be moving on. Ben, you stopped smiling since the match? I uh, <laughs> no, no, maybe a little bit when I was uh, my physio was working on me, <laughs> but no, yeah, definitely a big smile on my face. Uh, I called my parents and and they're pretty happy. So yeah, just just a lot a lot of happiness around. What did your dad say? Uh, he uh, well, first, I mean, he was he was definitely excited. Um, it's like five forty uh, there, and they have a. They have a match today, the team does, so I think I messed up his sleep schedule a little <laughs> bit. Um, but he, he still has his analytical mind going and talked to me about the things I did really well today and uh, the few things that I could have done a bit better. So, uh, yeah, he was happy overall. You? Ben, you spoke about, like, leading up to the tournament, how it took some time to sort of get your feet underneath you as you traveled all the way. At what point did something click and you realize, like, I have my stuff now? Yeah, um, the first match that I played in Auckland, um, I felt really good, but I, it was an indoor match, um, so a little bit different. I knew that the conditions were going to be different here in Melbourne, and so like I, I knew I played a good match, but I still wasn't completely sure if what my game was going to be like outdoors here. Um, this was the f first match where I really felt like, wow, like I'm on, everything's clicking, and uh, I feel feel good about my game. Um, I'm moving really well, and I, I told myself that I wanted to give myself more of a green light today when I played, um, not be as hesitant um, in the middle of the points, but really go for my shots a bit more, be okay with some errors, and uh, know that it was going to pay off in the long run. And I thought I stuck to that plan today and uh, executed really well. You have one? Ben, yeah, congratulations. Um, you mentioned the crowd. Can you talk a little bit about what it's like to play in John Kane? Yeah, um, they kind of set the tone when I walked out on the court and I got booed. <laughs> First time at a pro match that that's happened, but I mean, it was uh, it was unreal. I always I, I can always respect um, a whole country getting behind their guy. Um, so it was really cool to see. Uh, similar to some away matches and college atmospheres that I've been at, but definitely amplified today. Um, the sound in there kind of just <laughs> vibrates. And uh, so, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun match to be a part of. There's definitely a few Aussie guys uh, screaming for me in the crowd, and I don't think the, the rest of the Aussies in the crowd like that too much. Uh, just to follow up, you seem to be uh, enjoying it a little bit and at moments kind of put your hand to your ear as if, you know, I, I can't hear you kind of thing. Um, is, is that part of uh, playing in college and, and in front of crowds like that? Does that help you? Yeah, um, kind of a, a similar type of um, atmosphere. And, yeah, I, I think it helps me. Um, honestly, when, when the whole crowd's for you, 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 hear, you feel this expectation that you have to deliver. And when you miss a shot, they're all, ah, and maybe you feel like you're letting them down a little bit. I find it easy to play free when the crowd is coming at you and being aggressive and um, I, I enjoy that hostile atmosphere so uh, it was uh, it, it's always a little bit like bitter sometimes when you're like ah oh, man like <laughs> there's you win a point and there's no one cheering for you but it also motivates you a little bit so I I, uh, I really liked it Chris yeah Ben are you at any point last week or so, when you're in the tur in the stadiums, you're looking around, kind of going, "Look where I am," or are you, are you really able to kind of just change the chip and and be here playing these matches in this environment? There's a, definitely a few times today. Um, the matches I played before were on a little smaller courts and not as big a crowd, so I wasn't as uh, wide-eyed. But definitely a few a few moments today where I was looking around, like, "Wow, this this stadium <laughs> this stadium is pretty packed." Um, and so uh, it was uh, f unbelievable, kind of hard to describe. I, I definitely 
wouldn't have thought that I'd be here in this moment six months ago, four months ago. Um, so hopefully uh, I can be on that court again or or uh, one of the other great stadiums that I have here. Anything else? Last one? Yeah. Just one more if I can. Um, Alexi in his press conference just said that you're a force to be reckoned with if you play like that and that you will be uh, top ten in six months. Is that a goal that you're allowing yourself to kind of like... Um, play out in your head, or is it getting a bit too too far ahead? Yeah, no, I uh, I try to keep myself grounded and know that when there's highs, there's there's always lows. So uh, I'm not expecting um, a ton from myself. You know, I I want to do well and I want to improve my game, but I'm trying not to put number limitations on my in my head um, because there's always something more that, that, that you can strive for. So I'm just trying to be the best version of myself and whatever that looks like at the end of this year, at the end of next year, if I know that I left it all on the table that year and I gave everything I had and did everything that I could to get myself ready for tournaments, um, then I'll be happy with it, you know? Um, I, that's a really nice comment from him, though. Next to next. Yeah, I was going to ask about what's your connection with VJ? And... Uh, yeah, you guys carrying the banner for college tennis here in the fourth round of the Australian Open, I guess, a little bit, right? Yeah, I, I kind of became friends with him maybe uh, a year ago. Um, I didn't know him that well before that. I mean, I'd seen him play in college tennis, but he was older than me, so we never competed against each other. And uh, we're, we're good friends, like to joke around a lot, um, have a lot of locker room banter. Um, so he's, he's a good guy. Um, definitely ex excited to be able to play him and uh, I think it's something a match that the crowd will for sure enjoy thank you thanks guys L -L.